Hello and welcome back. So iPadOS 18.4 Developer Beta 2 was released a couple days ago. Sorry this video is a little late. But there are a few new features, not a ton, but a few things we can talk about. Not going to draw this out, let's jump right into this. Priority notifications, which are introduced in Beta 1, get a new setting in Beta 2 that lets you configure this on a per app basis. So if you go into settings and then notifications, and then we're going to tap on prioritize notifications, you'll see we get a list of all the apps that support priority notifications, and you can turn them on or off to your heart's content. Control Center sees a tiny bit of reorganization around its Siri option. The section in the Control Center toggles that used to be titled Siri is now called Apple Intelligence in Siri. And that has not only the previous option for Type to Siri, but there's a new toggle option for Talk to Siri as well. So if you were to add both of these to your Control Center, they work just like you would expect. If you tap on Type to Siri, it brings up the Type to Siri interface. And if you tap on Talk to Siri, it triggers a normal Siri interaction like if you held down the side button. Beta 2 adds a number of new actions in the Shortcuts app. Now these actions are pretty much all focused around controlling various settings of some of the Apple apps like Safari or Calendar or News and so forth. Now the theory is that these actions for controlling settings are exposed for the upcoming Siri update that will allow Siri to take more action in your apps. But in the meantime, since they are just exposed in shortcuts, once 18.4 comes out, we'll be able to use these actions in our shortcuts right away. If you've ever wanted to quickly clear your recently deleted folder in Photos, 18.4 has you covered. There's a new option to do just that. So if you go into the recently deleted section, authenticate if you have that enabled, at the bottom you'll see there's a new button that gives you the option to clear all photos at once from the section. You get that standard warning just letting you know it's going to be deleted from all of your devices if you're using iCloud Photos. And if you accept it, just like that, all of your recently deleted are cleared. And that's really handy because that can fill up fast. Next we have the ability to pause App Store updates. Now this would in theory be useful if you I guess don't have automatic updates on, but you go in to update a larger app like a game, you see it's going to take a while and maybe you want to do it later. When you go into the App Store update interface and you tap on the update button, you should see a little pause icon in, inside the circle. You're able to tap that, it'll pause the download, and then you can resume it later. Obviously, this, these aren't great examples because these are smaller app updates, but that's roughly how this would work. I wanted to give a special shout out to the Vision Pro app, which I think is supposed to only be for iPhone, but is weirdly accessible via the App Store in Beta 2. Now it doesn't actually work, so you're not able to use it for things like sending content to your Vision Pro or doing additional configuration with it, but it's just kind of interesting that it's there. But I have to call out, even though it's a basic icon, it looks really smooth. I hope we get a Vision Pro app for iPad one day. So that's really all there is to note about iPadOS 18.4 Beta 2. Hopefully there's still more to come in future betas. But until then, thanks for watching this video. Make sure to like the video and subscribe on your way out. And I will catch you all in the next one. Take care.